Hello, friends. Welcome back to Block Bites and to our weekly crypto news recap. So this is the last week of 2023. And let's take a look at some of the important news that happened in this week, starting with the market itself. Uh, the market has been down this week, uh, especially since there was a sell-off in Bitcoin. Uh, um, and uh, uh, well, some of the other uh, Altel ones and uh, uh, applications are up. Uh, Matic is up which is nice. Um, you have obviously near uh, Binance, Optimism, um, and even IOTA uh, up. We'll take a look at one of the reasons why this is up in 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 in, in, in news related to this blockchain. Um, and and ex several other uh, applications like Aave and Cake are up as well. So um, uh, it there was a sell-off on Friday in BTC and that basically drove down the market a little bit. Uh, but overall, the markets have been amazingly well for crypto as we have seen in the previous um, uh, week uh, news recaps. So um, the reason why the market went down was that there was a sell off in Bitcoin. And this was primarily on the uh, uh, because of profit taken uh, by those uh, by some traders. So being the last day of the week or the last, yeah, last day of the last week of this year, uh, there's bound to be some profit taking and which is not unusual. Um, and so uh, BTC fell down, uh, it broke down be uh, below the 43,000 mark. Um, and uh, yes, so that was primarily the reason why the market actually came down. Uh, of course, when Bitcoin came comes down, everything else comes down. Also, especially the proxies, MicroStrategy actually fell down uh, by I think six or seven. Yeah, yeah. they uh, dropped by seven percent. Um, and obviously, the Bitcoin mining uh, companies also fell uh, by 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 big percentages. But uh, that is the the reason why the market is what it is today. But overall, as you can see Bitcoin actually has been uh, has given amazing returns, 155 percent for the entire year. Ethereum has given around I think 92, 93 odd percent, and Solana, as we all know, has given uh, close to 900 percent. I think maybe 800 percent. Not sure exactly, but uh, unheard of uh, the returns. Um, well, not unheard in the crypto space, obviously. But uh, compared to the traditional uh, markets like the uh, the stock markets, obviously. All right, let's move on to the next news of the day. Um, right, so this is an interesting news. Uh, the Avalanche Foundation, which is the nonprofit uh, behind the Avalanche blockchain, uh, responsible for all the development uh, activities on for the chain. Uh, said that it's going to be investing in meme its its own meme coin collection. Um, so uh, this news uh, broke, I think, yesterday or day before, and it created quite a buzz on X. Um, um, of course, there were a, a lot of uh, people who liked the decision made by uh, the 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 foundation, and obviously, you had people who were against it. Um, so, uh, but let me just to go a little deeper into this. This is not really new in the sense. Well, the decision is obviously new, but the uh, the program under which this decision was taken called the Cultural Catalyst was launched an year back. Um, and the idea was to basically uh, fund different areas that uh, uh, you know, apart from what Avalanche is usually known for, which is uh, real world assets and gaming and infrastructure and blockchain development, but most to do with the creativity and uh, artist and ensuring that the chain is artist friendly and things of that sort. So it didn't, it, it, it doesn't, if you know that background, it wouldn't come as a surprise to you that they have decided to take this decision. Um, and uh, uh, 
so according to them they want they want the 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 foundation and the catalyst program it represents the collective spirit and shared interest of the diverse crypto communities um right so uh, meme coins for those who don't know are tokens that are usually based on internet memes jokes images etc the most famous being dogecoin you know uh, and these don't really have any utility uh, behind it in the sense that they're not like Ethereum or even AVAX token that the, 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 that the token is actually used for, is, is a currency for the chain. Um, um, at least at the moment, they don't have any utility unless somebody decides, uh, like quite famously in case of Dogecoin, Elon Musk decides that, you know, he likes Dogecoin and he will accept Dogecoin as payments for on on twitter or x or whatever so in that case in that case obviously dogecoin will appreciate the skyrocket in 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 its price as utility is added to it but uh, i i think this is a good decision by them given the fact that it's not new and the catalyst program is designed especially for such decisions to be taken um and uh, avax has been making a lot of uh, headwinds this last uh, couple of weeks, um, I think their uh, the TVL, the number of transactions, um, and um, the fee and revenue, obviously, because of that, has really skyrocketed uh, in the last couple of months. Um, so uh, kudos to them, and I I hope that they they see more and more activity going forward. We need more uh, capable technologies um options uh, out there for adapts and uh, institutions institutional adoption so i find this to be a positive news unlike half the twitter so <laughs> you can make up your own mind on how you want to view this right moving on all right so uh, uh, a big news coming out of india uh, the financial uh, intelligence unit uh, which is part of the uh, the 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 regulatory framework in India has summoned or well, has actually said that certain crypto exchanges are operating illegally in the country uh, and they need to, uh, it's a, they've given a show cause notice. They've asked to tender a reply back to that allegation within two weeks as to why they should be not, they should not be blocked uh, uh, in, in the country. And um, the exchanges that include uh, uh, the exchanges in this application or in this in this notice include Binance, KuCoin, Huobi, Kraken, Gate.io, Bitrex, Bitsam, Mex, Groval, and Bitfinex. Um, and there's a reason why people are using these like, uh, these these uh, exchanges, um, and that is because of the 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 tax burden that Indian crypto. Um, exchanges have to uh, or rather the uh, the users using the indian crypto current exchanges have to burden there's a 30 percent tax deducted uh, on profits made uh, by crypto trading um, and uh, what indians used to do was to bypass the crypto exchanges that are following this rule i.e the the crypto exchanges operating within India and going to offshore um, exchanges like these and doing their trading, right? So now these have come under the financial uh, scrutiny of the, the the government and we'll see what happens. Uh, when, and as a matter of fact, they, they are not allowed to do this. There is a well-said law that all such virtual digital asset service providers have to register themselves and they have to, you know, follow the rules and regulations of the uh, of the acts and really uh, mandated by the government. So this is good news for the local um, crypto exchanges because they were um, they they were being neglected because of the tax burden the users have to face if they use them. And now if, and instead of that, all the traffic was going abroad to these other uh, exchanges, right? So um, interestingly, we have this tweet from Nischel, who is the co-founder of Azirex, one of the crypto exchanges. 
operating from when an indian crypto exchange operating um, in in this geography and it's he's saying that the uh, the fiu and the policies have been very are very clear and those who are in, in, involved in these activities have to register and follow these rules so um they and obviously because he is these these exchanges are a competition to his exchange he is obviously uh on 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 the side of the regulations in this front uh and uh, interestingly uh, the news the decision was made after the uh, bharat web3 association which is like a local advocacy body in india submitted a letter to the uh, the government uh, the letter had several points in it one of the points was this that you know uh, these exchanges because all the traffic is going uh, out of the country and all the tax collection by the government is being uh, overturned or being uh, um, circumvented uh, that these exchanges should be should be given a show cause notice and it seems like uh, after this letter was received by the by the authorities they took this action but there is the 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 there is the, there is correlation definitely but it's still not clear whether there is causation but anybody can prove causation or not but nevertheless um this is the news coming out of the indian crypto uh, market uh and uh, let's see how this 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 uh, pans out uh, going forward i hope that the government thinks or rethinks the the tax liabilities um on crypto trading and um, thinks about real hard um and takes a decision that is takes or amends it in in such a way or reduces it in such a way that you know it it encourages crypto trading and investment rather than you know pushing the uh, the the crypto users on the sidelines so let's see what happens uh, moving on all right uh, micro strategy in uh, typical uh, behavior uh, you know is michael serer is known for these moves now uh, he has actually bought more bitcoin um with that what the the total number of bitcoin that micro strategy holds is almost 190000 bitcoin and uh, with an average price of 31000 which is amazing right he's sitting on a bitcoin that is worth almost 6 billion dollars um and this is basically just um um no wonder this is this has been uh, micro strategies year and uh, if you look at the year to date returns on the company um, um 350% right even more than bitcoin ethereum um much more than any of the magnificent seven that we talk about you know uh the the top seven tech stocks in the world so micro strategy has really 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 pushing is really pushing this the whole bitcoin narrative and it's actually um uh, it's not backing off um he, michael Sarah doesn't believe in selling any of the bitcoin so i don't see any selling any of the bitcoins uh, in the future as well um, next related news, the ARK Invest, uh, well-known um, investment fund, investment uh, uh, management fund uh, run by Kathy Woods and his team and her team um, has has been dumping, a, has dumped all of its grayscale Bitcoin trust positions and now instead bought uh, ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF, which is part of their own uh, ARK WETF um, um, and in one of the recent talks uh, in an interview she, she the main reason that she said that she dumped all the GBTC trust was well there are several reasons one was that I don't know if you've been keeping in track of the discounts so uh, the discounts have shriveled from double digits to single digits now meaning that uh, uh, grayscale you could actually have bought Bitcoin at much lesser actual price 
uh, if you had invested in uh, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. Um, so they have enjoyed uh, a lot of price appreciation by keeping, by investing in this trust. And now they've taken all of this price appreciation and they have pumped it back into their own Bitcoin uh, uh, ETF, right? Because uh, they anticipate that there'll be a huge demand and the uh, and the price of their ETF will obviously skyrocket. So uh, just a little bit of market shuffling here and there uh, by, by Cathy Wood. It's interesting to follow these two players because uh, they are probably one of the most uh, prolific uh, crypto advocates out there. Well, not Michael Saylor. Michael Saylor is purely a Bitcoin advocate. All right, moving on to the next news item. Okay, uh, this is an interesting news. IOTA, which is an IOT or Internet of uh, Things uh, based blockchain, um, has this EVM called Shimmer which allows developer for, for DAP development. Um, um, and once the applications are developed using this EVM, it is deployed on the blockchain, the IoT blockchain. Um, what they have done is they have now added cross-chain capabilities by uh, partnering with Layer 0. So with this, any of the apps that are deployed on the IoT blockchains uh, can interact with um other evm chains right out there so um uh, they'll be able to transact across all of these different uh, blockchains i think there is more to this network uh, iot i think this deserves a separate video um i might just do this as a separate uh, video going forward because i find this an interesting uh, news and an interesting chain to to cover and know more about. All right, moving on to the last news of the day. Uh, Block uh, came out with this news saying that uh, the total value locked in DeFi, oh, excuse me, the total value locked in DeFi protocols has actually surged to the level seen before the collapse of FTX, which is a hugely bullish sign and a positive sign for the space. Uh, ever since the FTX collapse around a year and a half back, the the crypto TVL has withered down significantly, and to 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 for, for to see the the TVL go back to the levels before the actual crash is really heartwarming and 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 uh, it's it's a po very positive sign that. You know, activity has reclaimed the propositions that it held before, uh, before the crash and before that black swan event, um, and um, that is amazing. So uh, let's take a look at how the DeFi is um, spread around at the moment. Um, so, okay, before that, let's look at how much it has actually changed. So if you look at yeah, here we go. So it started the year with around around 38 billion US dollars, you know, and it did went sideways, went down a little bit, and then in the end it actually surged. And now we're looking at around 52.7 uh, or 53 billion US dollars. So that is that has been the increase in the TVL through this year, throughout this year. Uh, and uh Chain wise activity, if we look, Ethereum still has most of the uh, TVL, uh, then followed by Tron, uh, Binance Smart Chain, Arbitrum, Solana, and others. Um, you can see that the Ethereum um, TVL is actually going down over a period of time, as you can see here. It's, it's been eaten into by other chains, uh, mostly layer twos, and that is part of the whole process. As we all know, uh, with the whole roll-up centric uh, roadmap, uh, activity from Ethereum is going to transition over to all these different layer twos. So that is bound to happen. Uh, interestingly, uh, we've seen Solana coming up a little bit, um, but if you look at the top, well, 
Solana is like the number fifth chain in terms of the total uh, TBL. Uh, uh, at the moment, it is 1.4 billion. Uh, we have Arbitrum, which is the, the, the most popular layer two on uh, Ethereum, which has taken the most bulk of the TBL away from Ethereum. Right, so this is this is the 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 way the DeFi TVL is currently distributed. Obviously, we'll see this grow more and more going forward. Um, and going forward in several years, we'll see that uh, a lot of consolidation also, as a number of say the layer twos will consolidate into the other layer twos, and the number of layer ones will also consolidate into layer twos, maybe. Um, and that will be some side. I'm just uh, it'll be interested to see how it all pans out. So with this, uh, that's the end of this week, the last week of this amazing uh, year. I hope you enjoyed this year and I wish you a very happy new year. I hope you get all the success in all your crypto endeavors in 2024. Till next, the next video, till the next crypto news recap, I wish you a very happy new year again. And bye-bye.